Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonorai from Glad Studio and today I am going to discuss about extrusion in Revit. So if you will see this uh, ribbon panel here, I am in create here and you can see these terms extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep, sweep, blend, void form. Basically these are used to create families and massing and uh, doing any kind of modeling works in your architectural projects and you can use it like other softwares like SketchUp, 3ds Max and AutoCAD 3D. So you must be familiar of these terms like extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep and sweep blend. So we'll discuss each one. So today I'm going to discuss about extrusion. So extrusion, if you uh, click here, uh, you can uh, start extruding any object so i will uh, start from beginning how you can find extrusion from uh, this uh, modeling space and uh, viewport so you are required to go to this architecture tab and you can click this component and you will click this model in place and after that you can select generic models and you can rename if you are creating any pergola, you will rename it here pergola. If you are creating any landscape item, model, any kind, you can rename according to that. And I am going to click OK. And after that, you can find this extrusion blend, revolve, sweep and sweep blend void forms. So uh, this is one method. After that, uh, also you can go and create a family here by going to file, new and family and you can find it here metric uh, generic profile you are working in a uh, metric you can search for metric generic profile here i will click this and click open and also you can find here also in family creation extrusion blend etc and you can start modeling model your project and uh, you want to create any kind of massing and model you can do it by extrusion so um, i basically prefer directly from my architectural project so i will go to my architectural project here and uh, i want to create a pergola suppose for this temple a small temple so i will go to my component and model in place and i will go to this generic model and I'm going to rename this as Pergola and then I will select extrusion here and after that the next step is that you are required to set your work plane so I want to create for this wall here so I will go to set work plane and after that I will go and pick a plane ok and then I will select this wall. After that, uh, I will go and I will go to this draw panel here, and you can use any of these like line, rectangle, inscribe polygon, like this. You can use to draw extrusion. And uh, I am going to select this rectangle here, and I have set work plane to this wall, so no problem you can give it to any length here and if you go to this properties here you can see this is extrusion start and extrusion end so that means from where you are starting your extrusion so i am starting from zero inch from this wall and i want to project outward so i will go and make this three feet and uh, the next important thing is material and finishes in properties you can change your material from here i am going to first show you apply and i will go to click this one and you can see your extrusion is created here and uh, after that you can change the materials from material and you can go and create a new material you can apply any material. I'm going to apply wood. I can select any wood material here. You can apply OK. And you also material is change here. 
so this is the use of extrusion likewise uh, if you want to finish this uh, you can uh, press this icon here green and if you want to discard and if there is some error or it is not as per drawing you can click cancel here so uh, you can copy also here if you want to make a copy you can select this and you can make a copy of this so likewise you can work and you can make copy of this if you want some other shape you can uh, go to create and again extrusion and uh, if you want some circular shape here you can create circle and you can give any extrusion uh, depth here I am going to give this uh, forfeit just to make you understand and press green tick mark here and this is the extrusion which we have created so likewise you can use it in your project this extrusion you can use for your window boxing any kind of design and if you want to make any table in interior you can use it and if you want to make any uh, landscaping uh, pathway or any interesting shapes you can use this extrusion I will show you I will go here and I will take some uh, I will go to floor level here and I can you have to set your plane here and I'm going to name I'm going to level floor level okay and after that you can start drawing your extrusion here and you can draw any shape here suppose I want to draw landscaping some pavement interesting shapes near temple or any building project you can use this and I'm going to start from zero and I will go this floor level to one inch I will apply I will finish this and now we'll go to your 3d view and you can see your interesting shapes using extrusion is created and uh, you can apply any material here if you select this and go to material and check this box after that you can create any material and you can apply everywhere payment and uh, you can select any I'm going to square brick red okay okay and you can see this material is applied to this one after that uh, you can start practicing about extrusion I will make uh, any detailed tutorial on how to use it in interior also so first you need to understand extrusion sweep sweep blend uh, and extrusion work so in the next video tutorial we'll discuss about uh, the next command that is blend so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks